Hello everyone, this is Moses from Moses in Korea, the one who help you if you are interested in studying in Korea. And in today's video, as you all know, this is 2021. So today I will speak about the expenses that foreign students spend while studying in Korea. And basically, I will speak about my personal experience. It might be higher or lower than other foreign students, but I will try to mention the basic expenses that also other foreign students spend. So let's get it. First of all, the most important thing is the tuition fees. <laughs> Guys, the tuition fee is the most important part, right? And in my case, my major is information and security at Suwon University. And I pay uh, full thousand dollars per semester which is eight thousand dollars per year so if you calculate like per month it will be like six hundred and sixty dollars so that's the calculations the second one is the food expenses guys <laughs> the food expenses here in korea it might be a little bit higher than what you think because usually the meal is about six dollars or seven dollars per every meal and in my case i prefer not to like to buy things and cook home i prefer to eat outside that's why it's quite expensive and i decided to to buy cereals and meal eat it as my lunch and eat one meal as a dinner so guys <clears throat> It might be like expensive or cheaper according to what you want to eat. If you want to, to eat expensive stuff, it will be the amount will go higher. But my own money I used in January, it's like uh, $250. So keep in mind. So if you go out and buy everything you want, buy expensive stuff, it might be even higher than $300. The next point is the rent fees. Guys, usually foreigners like live in the dormitory, but sometimes it's uncomfortable because there are there are rooms of two up to four people like living together. That's why I decided to to move out and rent my own one room or one room apartment and I pay like monthly 300, $330 per month. In addition, while living, like you will need water, you will need like gas and electricity to cook and now it's in winter, <laughs> you will need to like to use the heater, that's why the, like the costs become more higher and I pay like um, $60 like all combine all those expenses combined so if I make for you a total it's like um, 400 rent and maintenance fees the next point is the communication fees <laughs> if you will come here to Korea you have to use a phone <laughs> right so usually foreigners don't use like Korean plan on the on the phone because the Korean plan is really really expensive for example if you want to use like LTE unlimited you will pay like uh, almost no it's not almost you pay you have to pay $70 per month that's why if I want to use <clears throat> an internet I bought a neck it looks like this <clears throat> So I use it when I'm outside because when I'm home, I just use my free Wi-Fi, which is in my home. And I pay this egg like uh, 14, $14 per month. And uh, in addition, while calling, I just use basic plan, which is like $20 per month. And it's a total of $34 per month. And another point, even if I have this egg, I don't usually use it a lot because in Korea, almost everywhere, there are free Wi-Fi in bus, in subway, and <laughs> even here in the studio. The next point is the transportation fees. Guys, in my case, 
I go to Seoul a lot of time. I can't reduce my transportation fees. But other like foreigners, they just go to school back home, go to school back home. And yeah, you can do that to economize the, <laughs> the expenses. But there's no reason to study in Korea if you just go to school and back home. While living in Korea, you have to enjoy your Korean life. You have to go on a trip, you have to meet friends, you have to have fun. Like, because that's the, of course you came to study, but you have also to enjoy your Korean life. Fortunately, the transportation fees is not that expensive compared to other stops here in Korea, but it's expensive compared to Rwanda. Anyway, one bus ride is like one dollars or to two dollars, and also the the subway cost is similar. And a good point when you are transferring from bus to a subway or subway to a bus, the transfer fee is free, so you can move around very comfortably. And in my case, I spend like um, fifty dollars per month for transportation fees. Guys, I explained above fixed uh, expenses that is being spent and now I'm going to tell you about my pocket money that is going out my pocket every month. So to be honest, like I meet with friends, like buy clothes, buy some books and of course I do it while saving but this, this month I spend like one hundred dollars but actually i want to like to go out and have fun more like buy more clothes because i'm interested in the fashion and um, but to be honest the living standard here in korea is really high so i try to save as much as i can and uh, now while i was in rwanda last time i bought enough clothes so it's okay now and no need to buy books again because i can ask to my korean friend so <laughs> i spent a total of 100 dollars per month yes guys how was the video do you think i spent a lot of money to be honest, me too, I was surprised. While making the calculation, I found that I use like 1,500 per month, including like the school fees and all the expenses. But you might think, oh, it's really expensive. But there are a lot of opportunities here in Korea. You can get a discount if you have good grade for the scholarship while studying here in Korea. You can apply for a part-time job and get a job while studying in Korea and that can reduce your expenses. And in addition, there are other uh, expenses that are not planned. For example, you can suddenly be sick and go in the hospital. You can attend events like um, wedding or funeral. So. I want you to use or spend your amount wisely according to your situation. So let me end up the video here. If you have anything else you are curious about, please leave a comment below and see you in the next one. Bye.